What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanna tell you what a lookalike audience is and how you can use it, um, how to set it up, and then how to actually use it when you're creating your campaign. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video on how to create an audience, a, a custom audience that you've either uh, uploaded from your contacts or uh, that you're remarketing to, make sure to check it out. I'll put the link up above uh, because you will need that for this video. So what a lookalike audience is, uh, let's start with that, is it's an audience that looks like an existing audience that you have. So Facebook doesn't give too much information on the algorithm behind it, but basically what they look at is things like demographics, location, common interests, common qualities, things like that. It does its best to kind of identify people that are similar to that, okay? Now, I would recommend a list of at least a thousand people. Uh, the minimum requirement is 20 people to create a lookalike, but if you think about it, how accurate is data with only 20 people, right? If you run an experiment, 20 people is probably not good enough. So I would include at least 1,000. Um, I think the maximum is like 50,000 that, that, that you can use. Uh, I'm not too sure on that, but 20 is the minimum, okay? So let's, let, let me show you how to set that up. So let's go back into old tools and audiences. And here, as you can see uh, from the previous video, we've created this little uh, custom audience of, of people that visited our main home page, right? Uh, so let me now create, let's now create a lookalike. So what I'm gonna do is now, now that we've created a custom, I'm gonna go into lookalike audience. And so let's choose the source. So the source would be visitors to my site, right? We'll click that. So let's pick our country. So we can say United States. Uh, you can you can pick specific countries or regions. So let me see if New York. Yeah, no. So it has to be specific countries or regions. Um, now for the audience size, uh, this ranges anywhere from one to ten percent of the entire country. So Facebook will look at the top one percent that is similar to your audience, or the top. You know, if you go up to ten percent, the top ten percent that is similar. I go with one percent because that's probably the most accurate. If you have, right, the maximum here is you'll be using 21 million people. How likely is it that all 21 million people have something in common? I don't think it's very likely. So I like to go with the top 1%. So this basically means that Facebook will select the top 1% in this country, in the United States, that are similar to your custom audience visitors to my site. And that will include 2.1 million people. So the, the list of people is pretty broad, but as you can guess, if you have a much larger list, if you have maybe 20,000 people, or like we said, a minimum of 1,000 people, it can give you some fairly higher or much higher quality traffic uh, than, than if you were to just market to random people or especially people with in just some interest groups, okay? So after you do that, you can just click on create audience. I'm not sure if it'll work for this case because the minimum, yeah, so it says not ready. So we'll need 20 people here first before this will work. I believe, um, and that's it, that should work. So now if you want to actually use this, we'll go into Power Editor or Ads Manager, whichever you prefer, but uh, Power Editor is better for editing as you've seen in uh, one of my previous videos on that as well. So let's go back into Ad Sets, Edit, and here you would input your audience. So here we already have our custom audience set, but I can delete that or, or I can use it in, a, in addition and I can say lookalike, right? So here's our lookalike audience, here's our custom audience, uh, and I'll just click on lookalike, okay? So you can do that and then you can actually exclude, so you can exclude people that, let's see, visitors. We can exclude the actual visitors to our site because we don't want to target to them. We want to target people that are similar to them, okay? So that's how you would do it. That's how, what lookalike audiences are and how you can use them. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.